Royal split complete, real sign there's a problem as Meghan and Harry make final break. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are to formally split from the Royal Foundation, the charity shared with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The final split as Meghan and Harry forge a path away from William and Kate. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, announced they would split from the Royal Foundation on Thursday. The charity was set up in 2009 by Prince William and Prince Harry. Kate Middleton, Duchess of Sussex, joined when she joined the family in 2011, and Meghan joined shortly before she married Harry in 2018. In a statement, the charity, which will be renamed the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, said the decision was made after a review of its structure and that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are incredibly proud of what they have achieved together. The move by the Sussexes is seen as the final step in the division of the couple's public duties after they split from the Kensington Palace household last year, forming their own in Windsor. The move prompted persistent rumours of a feud between the couples, and this latest news seems to have finally confirmed them. The Royal Foundation was seen as a solid example of the goals shared by all four and the last bastion of defence against the rumours. Before the Foundation split was announced, a former Royal staff member told Sophia Money Counts from the Sunday Times, the Foundation's the one to watch. If it doesn't hold together, that's a real sign there's a problem. While it's been viewed as understandable that Meghan and Harry would want to move somewhere away from the central hubbub of Kensington Palace to raise their son, this move was never part of the initial plan. Royal biographer Penny Jr. interviewed the prince's former private secretary, Jamie Lothar Pinkerton, and he told her the goal was always for William and Harry to work together to the full. So this division is a certain sign of cooling relations. In fact, it has been reported that talk of a rift is now open and frequent among royal staff and commentators. Of course, the families put on a polite face in public, smiling at one another and saying all the right things. Kate and William publicly congratulated Meghan and Harry after the birth of Archie in May, saying they couldn't wait to meet him. But they didn't, not until he was more than a week old. When Kate and William had Prince George, their first baby, Harry dropped by the very next day, eager to meet his new nephew, 